Good afternoon. Welcome to Big Al's Eats. What are we doing today? We're breaking in a new grill. I built this grill a couple months ago, have not used it yet. Today we're going to coal smoke some grits and coal smoke some uh, kosher salt. So what we're going to do first is uh, we got to create coal smoke. I have a smoke tube here. You can order these off of Amazon. Uh, a lot of your big box stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, they may sell them. Uh, I've got some wood pellets here that go in a pellet grill. I'm going to go pour a layer in, inside here. Put a few pellets in. And what I've got here are uh, hickory wood chips. I'm going to grab a handful of those and pour on top of the wood pellets. And I'm going to fill this up with wood pellets and wood chips and then we'll light them and get ready to start this smoking process. We're going to go through the whole process with you. This is going to be a f about a four hour ordeal. So uh, we're going to condense it down to uh, hopefully about 15 minutes. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Let's fill up the smoke tube and get you smoking. Okay, the next step in this process is to get these uh, wood chips and the pellets to smoking. I've got a little portable torch here. We're gonna light it up and it'll take about 30 seconds and we'll have these uh, smoking here shortly. So uh, <clears throat> let's get some gas flowing. And then we'll be ready for the smoking process. Like I say, it only takes about 30 seconds to get this going. You want to put the heat to it until you get a, a steady flame on those pellets and the wood chips. And uh, let it burn for just a, uh, uh, a few seconds and blow the, the flame out. And there's your coal smoke. It's looking good already. That's, that ought to be about enough. Got a flame going. We can cut the heat off now and uh, get ready for the, the grits and the smoke salt. Now that we have the pellets going pretty good, good steady flame, we want to blow this fire out and uh, that will start the smoking process. So uh, just reach down and with those mighty lungs of yours, blow out the fire. There you have it. Now you're gonna have coal smoke. And, and basically what we're gonna have is anywhere from 90 to 105 degrees inside this, this uh, cooking smoker vessel, whatever you wanna call it. Like I say, it's homemade. And when handling these uh, smoke tubes, I recommend some pliers just grab it and uh, lay it flat down inside it's going to start smoking then and uh got a grate that we're going to put inside and uh stand by we'll get the grits and the salt put it on here and get the smoking process going What I've got here is kosher salt. I've got it in a, a tin pie pan. Uh, if, if you bake a, a pie or something, you, you use a, a pie crust from the grocery store, you can save these. Go to the dollar store. You can buy them for a buck a piece. Uh, I've got the salt in this one, and uh, we're just gonna put it down. And what I've got here are stone ground grits. It's, grits is nothing but corn. And uh, there are two types of grits that you can smoke. You can buy those, uh, what they call quick grits. They'll cook in the microwave or on the stove top. Uh, you just follow the directions. Uh, they'll cook in about three minutes. These are, are real, they're not quick grits. Uh, these are, are fresh ground grits. They take uh, approximately 20 minutes to cook and you know, add your favorite seasoning. But. Uh, I'm going to pour these into this other pan. And now I'll explain the process. 
I just I spread them out and you see the grits are an off-white color the salt is a white color I'm gonna shut the lid down and uh, it's gonna start the smoking process and about every 20 minutes I'm gonna come in with uh, a spoon or some a fork whatever and stir this as it smokes the the salt will start to turn gray uh, same way with the grits they'll get a grayer color a darker color and uh, stir about every 20 minutes and uh, when you stir you'll notice the color change when you do stir they will turn back white same way with the grits but what you want to do every 20 minutes I keep repeating that come back and stir whenever it gets to where they don't change color when it's a gray color and you stir it and it stays gray that lets you know that they have reached their optimum smoke that they need to to absorb so keep that in mind we'll be back in about 20 minutes and uh, I'll show you what I mean and uh, we'll do this a couple times through this process like I say it's going to take uh, a minimum of four hours that's what I do uh, you may use more smoke than me I don't know this is my method so stay tuned uh, hopefully this will be about a 15 or 20 minute video and show you the, the final process of smoke salt and smoke grits. Happy smoking, y'all. We'll be back. Okay, folks, as you can see, it's smoking. This is the first time we've stirred. You probably won't see a lot of difference in color. Uh, it's been on 30 minutes. So let's open it up and uh, stir it around. Yes, I can tell a, a very slight difference in the color. I would pick this pan up, but it's, you know, it's 90 degrees. It might burn your hand. Let's see, that'd be all right. You can see the salt there. See how I move it around? It, the, the color is just real lightly smoked on the top. When I stir it, it turns back to its regular white color. So that's what we have to do all afternoon until the color stays gray. So uh, we'll be back in about 30 minutes and take another look at it. Y'all uh, stick around. Uh, smoking grits and smoking salt. Coal smoking. We are still smoking. This is my second time stirring. Let's take a peek and see if there's any difference. Hopefully you'll be able to see some this time. We got a lot more smoke this time also. Ooh, man. Let's stir it and see. Can you tell the difference? Smoke is getting on it. But, uh, you know, this is a slow process. Like I said, it's going to take, take about three or four hours, something like that. And uh, I'm going to stir the grits. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you every 30 minutes, but uh, I'll come back in an hour or so, and we'll check the progress on uh, how it's doing. All right. Let's put my little friend back to sleep. There you have it. All right, a couple of hours have gone by. Uh, I've stirred it uh, two or three times. So uh, let's look at it now and see how far along we are. We're getting some good smoke. The uh, kosher salt has a brown hue to it. We, you can stir it and you can see how it gets a little bit, a little bit wider. And uh, it's just, it is still changing colors, but not not as much as it was, so we're getting we're getting close. We probably like another hour, hour and a half maybe, and uh, we'll have smoked salt. Let's see what the the grits are doing. They're also looking pretty good too. They they're changing color just ever so slightly. Yes, we're getting real close on all of this. Like I say, probably another hour, maybe an hour and a half. Well, we'll have 
coal smoke grits, coal smoke salt. So there you have it. Let's put it back to sleep for, for a little while and uh, we'll come back and check on it a little later. Don't go nowhere, we're almost through. All right, folks, I believe we're through. This has been on, we've been cold smoking for four hours. Let's open up this and see what happens. It, it, um, it hardly changes color anymore. This is smoked all it's gonna smoke. We are done with the salt. I think the grits are gonna be fine too. Let's pull that off. Take a quick look at it. Yeah, the grits, are, they're staying the same color. So uh, the smoke is done. Uh, what I'm gonna do next to show you how I package this up. We're gonna get a vacuum sealer out and uh, we'll do individual servings with this. Uh, the salt, I'm gonna put it in a grinder. This is coarse ground kosher salt. So we're gonna put it in a grinder and uh, grind it as we use it. Y'all have seen those before. So uh, there you have it, you know, four hours. I said around four hours, it's been four hours. So uh, don't be afraid to get out and try this. Real simple to do. You can do cheese, butter, you can cold smoke anything. You can cold smoke fish, vacuum seal it, put it in the freezer, take it out, throw it on the grill, cook it, you got great taste of fish. Easy peasy. So uh, I'll come back uh, probably tomorrow and show you how I vacuum, vacuum pack and seal this up and uh, save it for a rainy day. So stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow with the finished product. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, folks, we have completed the cold smoking of the grits and the kosher salt. What I want to do now, uh, put together a couple of little small bags with uh, two servings in it. Uh, I've got a couple of neighbors next door that said that they'd like to try some, some smoked grits. So uh, I'm gonna put uh, two servings in each little bag, uh, six tablespoons to uh, two cups of water. That's two, three, four, five, six. And now what we'll do is just vacuum seal this. Oh, it smells so good. Put the bags in here, lock it down. And this is the food saver vacuum sealer here. So uh, it'll take just a second to soak the air out and uh, vacuum seal it. So here we go, it's gonna get a little loud. Simple enough. When the light goes out, it's ready. All right, it's sealed up, ready to go. What I'll do, I'll write some directions on here as, as how to cook this, but they're vacuum sealed, ready to go. Let's make another bag. You can make the any size bag that you wish. When I buy reusable bags or, or new bags, not reusable, when I buy new ones, I get, you know, big bags in small, and I always like to create my, create my own size bag. So let's go ahead and seal this one, and we'll pack up another, another little package there. Now, when you, when you do your grits, season them the way you like. Uh, what, what I usually do is uh, I'll do two servings. And uh, what I normally do, I'll season it with smoked salt. Put in uh, the, the six tablespoons of grits, two cups of water, and uh, a couple of tablespoons of butter. Uh, the more butter <clears throat> to me, the better. So that's the way I do my cold smoked grits. And once you eat these grits like this, cold smoked grits, you won't ever want to go back to eating just plain grits. There, there's so many layers of flavor and the smokiness is just, it's just wonderful.
Let's get six in here now. Number six. All right, and then the food saver to vacuum seal. Again, you know, it's going to make noise. Now just a couple more seconds and it'll seal the bag. And you can store these out in, in your pantry, wherever you want to store them. Now, if you want to store them in the refrigerator, you could do that. So, uh, like I say, normally when I do smoke grits, I use the quick grits. They usually cook. You can cook them in the microwave. Uh, it takes about three minutes. These are freshly ground, stone ground corn turned into grits. These take about 20 minutes. Or, or maybe a, a little less than 20 minutes, but on the directions it says 20 minutes, bring to a boil, then simmer. So there you have it. Uh, hope you get out there and try you some cold smoke grits, cold smoke salt. You can, uh, you can cold smoke cheese, butter. I've done it all. So uh, give it a try. You got the video. Now get out there and get busy and enjoy you some cold smoke grits. Thank y'all for joining me at Big Al's Eats. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. How to whatever. We'll be back with something good. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you down the road. Cheers, folks.